Three Buddies, Panda Hero here, and welcome back to another video in the Blender Game Engine tutorial series. Um, it has been a long time since I've done one of these. So I think it's been about three months, so that being said, I'm just going to do a quick uh, overview of what we did in the last tutorial and what we'll be doing in this tutorial, and we'll get on with the tutorial. So, basically, um... What we did in the last tutorial was we finished up our simple game by um, making uh, an objective for our game, uh, um, like uh, our objective to the game in order to win it was you are supposed to push a ball into a box and then um, you won the game. So, um, yeah, that's what we did in the last one and if you didn't check out this tutorial series from the beginning, I highly recommend you do that because it will explain all the basics, which you'll need to know for this tutorial. Um, so then in this tutorial, we'll be learning how to make a first person shooter from scratch using logic bricks and maybe a Python script or two uh, there, uh, but that may not happen, but um, yeah, so uh, without further ado, let's get on with the tutorial. Okay, so here we are in a blank Blender file, um, and, uh, so this is what it will look like when you first start it up, but, um, we're not gonna delete anything, we're just actually gonna use this stuff in here for now. So what we're gonna do is we are going to scale down this cube a little, and then we are going to grab our camera, and press Alt-G, and then Alt-R, which will put it to its default location and default rotation. So now we're going to bring our uh, camera up a little and press R, X, and 90. So that will make it so that our camera is facing forward and uh, to get into camera view just press 0 on your number pad. So now what you're going to do is you're going to select your camera then your cube and press Control P object and select object so then it parented it to the cube, so now we, when we move around the cube, it moves the camera too. So now what we're going to do is we're going to switch, actually first let's switch the Blender render to Blender game, and click this window icon and switch it to game logic, and press also 5 to get out of uh, orthographic view. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add in a plane by pressing shift A and then selecting plane. Now let's scale this up a bit. Um, eh, maybe a little smaller. Is that good? Yeah, it's a good size. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to add sensor. Actually, wait, we got to select our cube first. Ah. But um, now what we're going to do is we're going to just add base controls to our cube so it can walk around and jump and we can sprint. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add um, a keyboard sensor and a tip while doing this is uh, for something like if we had to add a keyboard sensor just press K on your keyboard and that will add in uh, a keyboard sensor so we will need to add in four and then let's add in some motion actuators um, oh, that opened a message one no I guess we'll just need to select it let's add in motion actuators okay so um, our first one will be to go forward so we'll use W for that key just by clicking and pressing W then our cube is going in order to go forward it needs to go on the X uh, I mean on the Y axis positive um, axis positive so we're just gonna set that to positive 10 on the Y axis and connect it now if we play our cube goes forward. And I should actually probably add some physics to this, so just go to this uh, physics tab right here and change it from static to character. So now it goes forward. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to collapse these. And we're going to switch this one to S, and where this is going to make it go backwards, we need to go negative 10 on the x axis. So do it like that. I mean, on the y-axis. Ah, okay, I'm just I, I'm just messing up a lot. Ah, sorry about that. 
Um, so we're just gonna close those. This one's gonna be to go right and left. So, um, in order to go right, we'll need to, we'll use the D key to go right and the A key to go left. So to go uh, right, we need to go positive on the X axis. So we'll just change that to 10 and hook it up. And now we can go uh, uh, right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same with our um, other one down here, only this time going negative on the X axis. Okay, just close these. And if we play, we can go backwards, forwards, and side to side. Great, works perfectly. So now what we want to do is we want to add it so that we can jump. So in order to do that, let's just add another keyboard sensor and another motion actuator and change this from simple motion to character motion and do jump. So we'll just hook these up and we'll change this to spacebar. Now jump and we can go forward backwards side to side and jump now if we want to sprint we can add a another keyboard actuator and we can press w is our forward key and then our first modifier will change to shift now how this works is it will uh, so if we're pressing the w key it will just make us walk but if we're holding down w and left shift it will make us go faster so then we'll add another motion actuator and change this to positive on the y-axis and 0.15 on the y-axis positive so now we have our controls down, so let's go into camera view. So we can go forward, backwards, side to side, we can jump, and we can also sprint. So that's that's good. Um, but one thing you'll notice is we can't actually look around with our mouse or use mouse look. Now, um, we I uh, know usually you'll need to write Python script for this, but a new feature that was added in Blender uh, 7.2, 2.7.2, yeah, uh, which is the version I'm using now, is, uh, was a, uh, actuator in the, or an option in the mouse actuator, which was a look, uh, actuator, which I think actually the mouse actuator is a new one, but, um, it's, they added a look feature so that you can use mouse look. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to add a mouse actuator and change it to look. And we're going to add a mouse sensor and change it from left button to movement. Now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, only use the x-axis. So what we got to do is we just got to turn this off by simply clicking use y-axis. Now if we hook these up we play we can look side to side which is good and it will also turn while we're doing that so yeah uh, but we can't look up and down so we gotta do the same thing with our camera so how we're gonna do that is we're just gonna add another mouse sensor and that wheel up and down movement switch this to mouse look and we're gonna only use um, the y-axis so now we can look, uh, oh, forgot to connect them, and we'll collapse them too. And now we can look up and down and side to side. Yeah, so we have our mouse look. So um, another thing is that, uh, and usually in first person shooters or first person games, is usually the camera will bob up and down, giving the sense that you're walking. So that's actually pretty easy to do. So all we need to do is just we're going to pull up our timeline here. Switch this to timeline. We're also going to change our text editor to dope sheet. Let's just zoom in here so we have a better view on the dope sheet. So now what we're going to do is we're going to change this um, our playhead to zero. We're going to keyframe by pressing I and location on our camera. Make sure your camera is selected. Then uh, go to frame 5 
And let's grab our camera and move it down a bit to about there. That's good. Um, let's zoom out a little so we can see it, get a better view of our camera. Then, uh, keyframe the location. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select our first keyframe on the dope sheet, press shift D to duplicate it, and bring it to frame 10. Now we'll just make the start of this at frame 10. Now if we play it, we have a bobbing motion. So now in order for this to work, we're just going to add a keyboard sensor and use W and add an action actuator. So what we're going to do is we're going to select camera action and select loop stop. Then what we're going to do is we're going to make it start at 1 and end at frame 10. So then what we're going to do is we're just going to hook these up. And now, if we walk around, we get a bobbing motion. But we also want to have this so that when we go back and side to side, it will work too. So that's pretty simple. Um, just add three more keyboard actuators and switch this one to S, this one to D, this one to A. Um, now, something to note when doing this, uh, when hooking them up, hook them up like this instead of hooking them up all into one actuator or and uh, controller. Because um, that will actually, uh, for some reason, I, it doesn't do it. It actually um, won't play the bobbing animation if you have it all connected to one, which I don't know why that happens, but it does. Um, and when I was testing this out, that really frustrated me. So, uh, I thought it didn't work, um, but then you just gotta connect them normally like this. So now, if we go backwards or side to side, we have a bobbing animation, which is good. But now, if we sprint, usually in games they make the bobbing animation go faster. So that's pretty easy to do. All we need to do is get a keyboard actuator in here and. Um, switch it to W and first modifier shift. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to frame 11 and copy over our first keyframe, bring it over to there on the dope sheet. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, three frames from that one, two, three, or let's do, yeah, let's do four frames. Then we're going to do this one, four frames from that, one, two, three, four. And what we'll do now is we'll add another action actuator, select camera action, switch it to loop stop, and make it go start at 12 and end at 19. And now we'll just connect these, and now when we um, walk forward, we get our bobbing animation, but when we sprint, we get a faster one. So that sort of fits it. Um, but yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for a simple character uh, controls. Um, so yeah, I guess that's all you really need to know for your simple character controls. Um, and yeah, so uh, that's all for this tutorial. Um, see ya. Bye.